responsible for you having problems in your life? Is it me? Is it society? Is it somebody else? Is it the person around the corner? Who is responsible for people being racist and who is responsible for people committing crimes? Is there one person who is really, really evil human being? Or is it something that we all share as, as some kind of responsibility as a society. That's what today's topic is kind of about, about personal responsibility. How much of it do we actually have or shall we have and how much of that is actually something that we shall share as a community. More about that in a moment. But obviously before we begin I have to tell you that this is your experience and here I share my various experiences about different topics. I do one video of a week currently on Mondays and if you will enjoy this video, please drop a like and also subscribe to the channel. You can also leave a comment. Let's go. I want to start with the fact that this video is not only about whether people shall carry responsibility, but also whether we shall expect people to carry their responsibility. Whether we shall expect some specific human beings to have some personal responsibility over their own thoughts, over their own ideas and their way of living. Because it is one thing to say yes I have personal responsibility I carry it I am a responsible human being and all the decisions in my life are the decisions that I made and not somebody else made for me but it is a different thing to expect other people to behave in a similar way it is a different thing to leave to lead your own life in the way that expects other people to carry their own responsibility which means that you cannot you shall not you must not carry the, the responsibility for other people the, the other people have their own responsibility you have your own responsibility but is society like that actually it is kind of not and it is a good thing about society that's one of the main reasons why society exists in order for human beings different humans to help each other it doesn't always work perfectly but it is a general idea it's a hope and if you look at social politics we basically have two sides of the spectrum one side is each person shall carry their own responsibility over their own life and shall and the society shall not bother these people these people are independent human beings and society is good because these people are independent human beings and the other part of the spectrum which says no society shall interact with each person individually society shall involve itself and support people it is what we consider the traditional right and left wing of politics right the individualists people who are individual, strong individuals, and they create a strong society. And another part left, where people are saying society consists of people who support each other continuously, which is why we are not really individuals. We don't have to be strong individuals. It is enough if some people are strong, other people are less strong, and we kind of deal with it. Is one better than the other? I think I'm not the right person to answer that question because at the end of the day, we still have politics, which means that people still didn't have not decide about that. And we have politics since ages, which means, yeah, we don't know it yet as a society. We still are not sure which way is better. But when we go back to the principle of personal responsibility, I have one example for you that has something to do with politics that in my personal opinion is something that shall bring you to this idea how much personal responsibility shall we actually have and how much of the responsibility shall society have for us. You know that there are some various opportunities how you could apply for help from the government, from the country. Basically you apply for it and if you are not very successful in your life, you don't have enough money or whatnot, then society helps you. And depending on what country we are talking about, the rules and how much money you will get will be different. On one hand, it is great to support other people. It is great that we support, we provide the opportunity for other people to participate in society, to live, to survive, maybe to have maybe some fun. But on the other hand, there will be opportunists, there will be people who use this opportunity in order to basically don't do anything and just live out of 
other people. Because at the end of the day, this financial support normally comes from taxes, so basically from every person who works and pays taxes. And there are people who actually need help so they can like come back in their normal life, but there are also other people for whom this part of life, this way of living is a normal way of living. They just don't care about tomorrow and it is how some people live and it's kind of okay in some cases. And the question here is, is it right or is it wrong? Is it better to completely throw away all these opportunities to provide people money so no people, no, no person uses this for their own personal benefit, completely ignoring the society? Or shall we provide enough support for all people to like benefit out of it, but being like ready to some people using this system for their own benefit ignoring our like overall good the good of the society and only be interested in their personal benefit but not really carrying the responsibility as a human being participating in society in my personal opinion that is a great question it is a question that is not really easy to answer but it is also something that every country solves for itself individually USA has its own rules, Germany has its own rules, Russia has its own rules, like China has their own rules and what not. So what are your thoughts on the matter? Comments are below. But let's go away from this high stuff. Let's go away from politics because in my personal opinion politics is not really something easy to talk about, easy to comprehend in a full way. But we have a lot of, or I at least have a couple of examples for more like individual level, for more low level stuff. Example number one, jokes. Since recent times it is somehow difficult to like make jokes about different topics. It is really easy to offend somebody with something, although it actually doesn't mean to offend somebody. Obviously there are cases where the jokes are offensive, they are racist and whatnot, or like homophobic, there are enough ways to offend some group of people. But on the other hand, a lot of jokes that can be considered racist and depending on your personal zero point of racism but in that specific context of a joke that was created at that moment in that story it is not actually and the reasoning behind some people canceling some other people some comedians is that we make something normal we spread these ideas of racism or homophobic ideas or whatnot these problematic ideas among people and people start us thinking that these ideas are normal and these people start thinking these ideas start start having them in their head and here is a question what shall we expect from people? Shall we expect from people to be decent human beings and when they hear something offensive, actually not thinking about that being a good life position, but more thinking of it as a joke, especially if in that context it can be considered a joke? Or we say no matter the context, no matter what groups of people we are talking about, not we are not talking about listeners, no. As long as the joke is offensive in some way it doesn't matter what way we shall throw away this joke like throw it out of society and nobody shall make these kind of jokes and that is actually a question that is currently discussed actively in the, the social topics community and also in comedy community because it's not clear anymore what is fine to say and not be attacked for it and there are a couple of examples from recent times where a comedian was attacked for making a joke and that is a question is it okay to hurt a person for making some specific joke? Doesn't matter what joke is, what kind of joke is it? Is it okay for her to hurt people for jokes? Because that is actually similarly to throwing away jokes from society. We hurt people who say specific jokes so often, so long, until they don't say these jokes anymore. Is it a way of living in society? Next, example number two. Family and family is a construct social construct construct that we created for ourselves in some way of shape or form which is like a nice construct that combines two living beings or more than two living beings depending on society and makes them like a part of society and makes them interact with each other love each other and what and there I have, we have different questions of personal responsibility first 
Each relationship consists of two personal, two or more personal responsibilities. Will each person in this relationship care about relationship and other people of the relationship? Will the person care the responsibility for improving the relationship, improving that person themselves for the relationship? And also, if we start like going further, like how important is wedding? How important is to like stay wet, stay husband, wife and whatnot. And the main for me personally, the most important point is when we have children, how do we deal with them? How do we carry responsibility for them? Because there are very many people who think that being a parent is an easy job. It is just something that you can do without a lot of thinking. You can just live and be a good parent but it is not like that there is a wave of thinking the wave of people who want to be single parents who want to carry the responsibility for the child alone although statistics say that outcome like li life outcome life quality of people who come from two parent household is better than from the families with one parent household and don't get me wrong like single parents have it tough and well, more power to you but the point is a lot of single parents didn't really want to become single parents it happens like that because of various reasons but to want to be on that side of the spectrum, to want to participate in that. That is something that I personally don't completely understand because carrying the responsibility for a child is something extremely difficult and heavy and wanting to do it alone is like, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Next third topic is Corona. It is stuff that still happens out, like outside. It's not something that went away. It is still happening, this whole pandemic stuff. And the question is personal responsibility in pandemic. How much personal responsibility each person carries throughout this pandemic? Is it fine for people not to vaccinate themselves, although it is like objectively, as objectively as it is possible, proven that vaccinations are good for people and vaccinations help to prevent spreading the disease? Is it okay? to hope that people will search for the best way to interact with society in order to not endanger all the people in the society? Or shall we just make people do the right thing however the right thing is defined? Because in the end of the day, personal decisions in this case can kill people and can save people. And that is actually something that happens a lot in our society, like overall, personal decisions have influence on other people. Personal decisions have influence on the society. And this is just a, an extreme case that we have nowadays. It is a situation where your decision or your personal decision not to do something can lead to people dying or people not dying, depending on what group of people we are talking about. The last fourth example is drinking alcohol. And it is something that on a lot of occasions it's considered an excuse to behave yourself like in a strange way, I would call it like that. Some drunk person comes to you and like the blah 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 and you are looking at them and yeah, what can I do with you? You are just drunk, I, I don't care, just go away from here. And that person bothered you and maybe that person did more than that and maybe that person groped you or what not and is it okay to just respect that because that person is drunk? Because on a lot of occasions we do like ignore the fact that people behave themselves not in a social way because these people are drunk or these people are what not. But shall we like, shall we actually ignore that? Is being drunk an, ex an excuse to behave yourself like an asshole? Is being drunk an excuse to do some like various stuff? Because in some occasions it is not. It is not okay to drive a car if you are drunk. It is not okay to have sex with a person if that person is drunk, because then you don't have consent. So what is okay and what is not okay in terms of drinking? And how much of personal responsibility does person have? Because at the end of the day, the person decided to drink. Maybe the person didn't really like mastered the way of drinking, but still that's not my responsibility that that person got drunk. As long as I don't carry that responsibility because of reasons. My personal opinion. We are talking about personal responsibility, not enough. 
We are talking a lot about society, how society shall interact with people, people interact with society, there are rules for individuals, or actually there are rules for the society that influence individuals. But in my personal opinion, we are not talking enough about personal responsibility, about the fact that you shall carry the responsibility about your life, maybe about people and interactions that you have with other people. And also, I personally think that there shall be like this low level of expectation towards other people in terms of responsibility. We cannot just go around and say we should not expect anything from anybody. Because where is the border? Since what moment of not accepting personal responsibility it is okay to kill something, okay to rob somebody? It is like, what, where is like this the border? Where is the border of this personal responsibility becoming important and not important? So basically it is okay to expect people not to rob other people, but it is not okay to expect people not to be offended by some joke by, uh, that was told in some specific context. So where is the border? And that is something that I don't have an answer to. But I do think that we shall at least expect more personal responsibility from each other and from society than we do right now. Because I think we can do better and we actually do better. But the amount of talks like this typical loud minority the amount of talks of people not being able to carry the responsibility for their decisions is overwhelming. Like if you know where to look, you find information about that like a lot. And that is not something that I think it is okay. I think we shall try to like put to expect higher standards, both from ourselves, but also from others. That's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If it is the case, please drop a like. You can also subscribe to the channel. You can also leave a comment. And I see you on Monday if everything works out. Have a great week.